Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another day of the video diary and how's it going today? I've just realised I've forgotten to start vlogging. Um, I was about to pick you up and vlog something else and then um, realised that, <laughs> that I hadn't even started yet today, so good morning. I woke up today after a very strange dream, extremely confused. I was, all I heard was like vibrating and it was my phone going off and I'm getting annoyed at this alarm and I'm like, fuck, why? Just shut the fuck up. Just smacking it basically. Uh, so yeah, that was something else. I was in the middle of a really strange dream and I keep having this same reoccurring dream. Hey guys, let's psychoanalyze me. This dream, right? I've been in this dream or like different variations of the same dream so many times, but it's always the same location. Right, it's a hotel I've never been to. I believe the street it's on is somewhere in Egypt I've been to before um, because I went also up and down the street and stuff. But the hotel in specifics, it's like a double like crescent thingy. It's got like a big crescent bit there and then another big one there. So it's like a huge, it's a bit like uh, a bridge in the sense where there's two big tall pillars like that, uh, pillars fucking buildings like that that go all the way along and curve and on that side that curves as well um and then in the middle that's where the pool and stuff is um anyway you go in and then you're like you've got to get to like the floor two and then only some stairs go up to certain rooms and stuff like that and it's really it's like a maze and i assume that's something to do with something or whatever um but yeah i dreamt that um lovely took me on holiday uh yesterday no today she's taking me on holiday today and um she was never, and then we didn't realise, I was like, as soon as we got there, I'm like, but we've got an exam, I've got an exam on Wednesday, so I've got an exam on Thursday. We get back Thursday, I'm like, but babe. <laughs> and then I had to go down to the beach for some reason, and then some shit like that. But yeah, that same hotel comes up in my dreams so many times, I've never been there before, don't recognise the hotel in a million years. It doesn't make sense as a hotel, why would you put the pool in the middle of two really tall buildings, there'd never be any sun, they'd be just in shade all the time, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's just really strange. I assume something to do with it being a maze would be something to do with trying to find something or some bullshit like that, but yeah, I wonder. What do you reckon? Um, it's, it's the, there's another place I dream about a lot as well. It's like my nana, uh, Nana's house. It's not Nana's house. It's kind of a variation of it. And it's got in the attic, it's got a telescope. And I dream about this every night again. Um, it's got a telescope in the attic, but I can't get up the attic because it's got like a little switch where if I try and get up when I'm not allowed, it turns into a slide and you slide all the way back down in the stairs. So, yeah, recurring dreams, eh? I've also got a really tickly throat. I can feel a cold coming on, which is, an, which is a bit of a bastard. But yeah, otherwise, I got up, I've done a wash, um, and I tumble. I, I realised I need to do a wash. I was supposed to do it on like Monday, but then I got sideswept, sw sideswiped by exams and revision and stuff. Um, so I've forgotten up until now. I'm going to have to do another one on Sunday. So hopefully this all dries, because I've got to do bedding and some clothes that I didn't manage to fit into this one um, and a couple of towels as well uh, but I've done the towels and stuff um, summer towels <sighs> had that a bit dried and then yeah yeah so that's that's what I've done this morning I've played a couple of games of Hearthstone I've sorted out the daily vlog and stuff and I'm now jumping into revision and all of that malarkey sorting stuff out um, basically yeah otherwise I'm just settling down to some revision now <laughs> it's not one o'clock um, but yeah, that's all really, lol, um, oh, it's really cold and rainy outside, I wanted to go, um, yeah, I wanted to go to town today, but it's raining, raining, really bad, all day, which is why I can't hang my clothes outside, <sighs> but yeah, so, my ear just went ring, started ringing then as well, so. Revision time, mother truckers. And we're off out. Um, just had lunch and stuff, been talking to Beth and Ben, organising when the internet dies and stuff. Um, and I've been trying to revise, but I've just got this itch to leave the house. And I can't remember how. <laughs> Don't mind me. My jaw just clicked or something. Ow. <laughs> uh, that's better, I think. No, it's not. Owies. It actually hurts when I talk. <laughs> anyway, I can't remember. It'll, it'll go away, right? Right? <laughs> what the hell? I legitimately can't remember the last time I left the house just because I could. You know what I mean? Like, I've gone to exams and stuff, and then there's times where I've left the house to go and view houses to, to buy next year, to go and pick stuff up from the shop. Technically, those are a bit made up, 
I don't have to have the things I'm getting from the shop but I haven't just gone let's just go to town for like the afternoon go to town so uh, that's what I'm doing basically I brought my bag um, I've got my laptop in it and um, my Nexus and stuff and I'm aiming to do a bit of window shopping I don't really want to buy anything I was about to say I don't even think I've got my wallet but I do <laughs> I'll be retarded not to take your wallet um, I don't really want to buy anything to be honest with you but just like even little things like just walking into a, I haven't looked around a shop in a long ass time I'm starting to feel really weird <laughs> and I just feel like I really want to go so I'm going um, I've got my umbrella in my bag as well because it fits in my bag now I'm going to have a look around I'm going to go Debenhams I'm going to go Curry's why the hell not have a look at cameras hello Mr Puddy Cat what is it with cats? Right. Meow. Hello. You're too far up, mate. I can't reach you. Even I can't reach you. What's up? What's up, ma'am? Hey? I can't... <laughs> I legit can't reach you. You're way too far up, mate. Come down a bit. Come down. No. Mate. Meow. <laughs> I can't... I can't do it, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't look at me like that. I like cats now, I do. <laughs> They're busy, mate. Are they tiled this or something? Is that why? I don't mean tiled, I mean tarmac I don't remember it being like this material before. Um, what's it talking about? But yeah, even when I went to Bristol and I actually had time to kill, I didn't really have that much time to kill because I had to explore places in the same... I had to explore and then I'd have like 10, 15 minutes to spare. So I'm literally just going down to waste an hour or so walking around shops. And it's going to be... I feel like... It's just going to lift a weight off my shoulders, and I don't know why. I, don't, I think it's because I'm working funny shifts tomorrow. I'm probably going to be working all day Sunday, and then um, uh, Monday, Tuesday, revision, Wednesday, exam, Thursday, revision, Friday, exam. I think it's like, now's like your last chance to go out and do something relaxing. So yeah, I'm going to go around town for about an hour or so, and then I'm going to go and find out how long you can sit in a coffee shop <laughs> on one hot chocolate um, before it becomes socially unacceptable that's why I brought my bag because I've got like my laptop in it I've got my Nexus I've even brought uh, the book I'm reading um, so we'll see won't we we'll see how it goes but that's my plan basically wander around town if it starts raining jump into Cafe Nero get myself a hot chocolate um, just do some relaxed work I've got my laptop I've got my Nexus so I can do loads of revision and I've got my notepads and stuff so I can do some revision while I'm out and that's my plan isn't it a nice one and yeah it's looking like it's gonna rain it's been forecast my feels better now but now I feel like I'm talking funny like I don't want to talk with like that side of my mouth so I feel like my mouth is at a slant weird um yeah I wanted to go earlier, but then I realised, is it weird that I'm pining after my own coat? You know, I left my coat in Nottingham. I, d I would have left a lot earlier, but I didn't want to... I wanted to wear a coat, but I didn't want to wear my shit coat. And man, that's really sad, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing then, eh? We're going down. Just going to kill some time. Relax. Look at stuff. Yeah, don't even have anywhere I want to look. I'm just going to go Debenhams, Curry's, Top Man. Shit like that, really. I don't even want to buy anything. I don't care. I just want to buy a hot chocolate, do some work, and then I'm going to go back refreshed and uh, do work this evening instead. I think instead of... Yeah, take the afternoon off instead of taking the evening off, I think. You know what I want, actually, while I'm here? Winkle pickers. That's my target. Find some winkle pickers. See what we can do. I've just been in House of Fraser. That's so much better than it used to be. It's just been like refurbed and stuff. And it is a massive improvement. They're so much better, it's unreal. And we're out. Not Winkle Pickers, I'm afraid. It was pretty close at one point. Um, but yeah. Otherwise, the House of Fraser, like I say, has been done up now and it's actually got some proper brands in instead of the crap that it used to have in there. My God. Armani's in there now. It's got rid of the fucking shitty linear crap that they used to have at the front. But otherwise, I just went to a um, Cafe Nero. I know I wasn't, didn't want to buy anything today. Although if I found some shoes, I would have bought them. Uh, I got very pretty close, like I say, but they were a bit too rounded. They were really thin at the front, but too rounded. I wanted pointy. But I went and sat in Cafe Nero for a bit, had a muffin and a hot chocolate, because um, I haven't had one in a long ass time. Um, 
and I just sat there and I read the news for a bit and that but then I was gonna get out my um, notepad and stuff but by the time I'd like to set up my laptop to bring up all the notes I want I'd have been I'd have taken too much time basically so I got my book out and read the first chapter of that book I told you about yesterday and it was really refreshing just to read a book like that isn't about fucking computers and fucking the advantages and disadvantages of DNS systems in networks. Oh, it was so nice. <laughs> it was really refreshing just sitting there reading a different, something different, you know? And I friggin' enjoyed it, it was great. And I'm heading back. And that's it, really. <laughs> I'm really happy that I went out and just forgot about stuff for an hour or so. It was really nice. 10 out of 10 recommend that. <laughs> I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna do some revision before I put my pie in. I'm cooking pie and chips tonight, so cooking isn't a problem. Just a case of whap it in the oven. Uh, do some veg after. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna spend the rest of the day revising. <laughs> I didn't know who that guy was, I just thought I'd wait. What a lad. I was just like, hey, and he's like, he's no idea who I am. <laughs> in hindsight, it probably wasn't best to have a hot chocolate. Um, considering I can feel a cold coming on, I've got a tickly throat. Uh, but, YOLO, some of the swaggins. Uh, yeah, I do recommend that, just going off out. This evening, I don't think we've got anything exciting planned, which is why I did that. Um, we're literally just revising from now. Have a break while I have my dinner, and then after dinner, probably more revision and stuff. Potentially, we can get very close to finishing the network session section, um, which is good because we're not technically revising it; we're teaching it ourselves for the first time. <laughs> so that's the plan. We're doing DNS at the moment. It's boring. It's quite it's common sense to a certain extent. It's just technical terms networking. Um, otherwise, it just makes. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say common sense, but once you know the right way of thinking about it, you'd be like, oh yes, it really makes sense. You know what I mean? I always say that, don't I? Like everything's common sense. When I was at work yesterday, someone said like, oh, what papers did you, what exams did you do? And I was like, Foundations of Computations 2 and Advanced Programming Principles. She's like, oh, what do they include? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't explain it to you. A lot of people do actually, they ask like, what kind of, Someone was asking the other day, to Harrison, I was asking the other day like what kind of maths we do. It's so hard to explain. All I can say is it's not maths. <laughs> uh, programming is easy to define, you just like, yeah we learn C, prologue, da da da. But maths is hard, systems development's hard, we did networking, what do we do for the rest of the stuff? I don't know. Databases and how to build them and how to design them basically defines the entire thing. Um, and pattern analysis. How to analyze patterns? That's it, <laughs> basically. Oh, and building a classifier using that information. So, building something that classifies based on previous patterns that it's already learned. Yeah. So, analyzing patterns and then recognizing them later. <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> Lol. And I'm going to be ending it there for today, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I got home. Did a bit of networking, but not a lot. To be honest with you, I need to step back up on the thing again. I'm not very good at revision unless it's like a couple of days before, um, <laughs> which is usually too late. But you know, I have a neck. Um, but yeah, had pie for dinner, which was nice. Um, I was doing a bit of revision and stuff, but I've kind of leaned away from it a bit, I think. I've kind of, I don't even know. I haven't even got an excuse. I haven't even been doing anything not revision. I'm now about to watch Lie to Me in Bed because I've got to get up early in the morning, unfortunately. Um, so I'm getting up at, what am I getting up at? 7, 7.15 apparently. Um, but yeah, so thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's been a fun day just getting out and doing something different. However, tomorrow we're going to be out all day doing something different. So, <laughs> and then most likely Sunday we'll be going out doing something different because I'll be at work then as well. I assume either then or Monday night, hopefully Monday night, but I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. Um, right. I'm going to get it going. Thanks for watching, like I say. Uh, I will catch you.
later. For tomorrow. For tomorrow's video, which is going to be one where I'm going to work. So, you know what to expect. <laughs> Catch you later.